Yeah, look, Carrie, I, I'm just, I'm not, I'm really trying to not yell about religion necessarily because uh, I know a lot of people are Christian and I just, and I'm not telling you to not be Catholic, but uh, damn, um, <laughs> I don't know how you, I don't know how you reconcile being Catholic with this guy, uh, unless you just oppose think, him, right? And you think I he's, think you he's can just, usurping the yeah, church, right? I think you can oppose him. That, and again, I'm not a Catholic, so if there are Catholics in the chat who, who think I'm wrong about this, let me know. But if I assume you can still be a Catholic and oppose him the same way that I oppose false shepherds in Christianity. I think you have to be orthodox, and, right? And yeah, so let me, so for example, there's a pastor, a preacher, a Christian preacher that I follow on Twitter, who's a so, one of the social justice preachers. So he's a blasphemer. He's not preaching Christianity. He's pretending to preach Christianity, but he's preaching social justice Marxism. He's preaching evil and he's cloaking it. He's trying to cloak it in the approval of God. So that's the same thing. It's the same thing. I view that as that is evil. That's the ultimate evil. And something I saw that he tweeted this weekend, it bothered me so much. Um, I noticed that I, I noticed a couple things in the past week. I noticed that when Chrissy Teigen and John Legend posted about losing their baby, that there were some posts, not the majority, but there were some posts in their in their Twitter feed that were just gross from people presumably on the right who were gleefully um, uh, just taking joy in their pain right. because they think Chrissy Teigen and John Legend are evil people. They were then engaging in evil and they were celebrating the loss of her baby. And I thought that was just very disgusting. I don't care if you think they're evil people by lowering yourself to celebrate the loss of their child. You've now you're how are you any different than you're what celebrating you think they the are? death of a baby? Just let's just be yeah. clear. <laughs> that makes you evil. OK. And so yeah. and then very similarly, when Trump contracted covid. I saw oh, yeah. people on the left doing the same thing. I saw people on the left who, because they think Trump is evil, were celebrating him contracting this illness and hoping that he would die. And again, I would say the same thing to you. I don't care if you think that he is evil, just like I don't care if people think Chrissy Teigen and John Legend are evil. Thinking someone is evil, but then lowering yourself to engage in evil and wish death upon them and celebrate the death of a baby or it, that that makes you no different than what you think they are. It's disgusting. And I don't care. It, it knows no political party or side. I don't care if you're on the right or the left. I think it's disgusting behavior. And I think it unites you actually with people on the right and the people on the left who do that. You guys are all the same and you gross people can go over there and get away from me. <laughs> like I think we separate it into gross people and non gross people. So I thought that was very gross. And then what I noticed was people on the left start to try and justify this gross, evil behavior. And I saw it from all kinds of people say, you know, basically uh, trying to, they said, you're not, uh, I saw someone posted the SJW uh, buzzword, you know, how they've tried to co opt the word gaslighting and they use it incorrectly. They said, you're not required to have empathy for someone who gaslights you, which is basically just trying to justify your evil behavior and attitudes and say, it's okay for me to gleefully hope this person dies because guess what? I think they gaslit me. That's okay. So it's okay if I behave in an evil way. That, yeah. That's awful. You're just trying to excuse your bad behavior. And then I saw, to bring it back to this, I saw that social justice preacher, Kyle Howard, post a poll and he was trying to defend people wishing death on the president. And in right. his poll, he said, essentially he said, um, would you tell slaves that they should pray for their slave owners? Mm. Would you tell uh, Jews in the Holocaust that they should pray for Nazis? Would you tell sex? Right. sex well, let me finish. Would you tell those who are being exploited sexually like child sex slaves or would you tell them they should pray for their captors? And and I would say yes. And the Christian response to that is Yes. You pray for your enemies. It doesn't come with a footnote. Pray for your enemies except those who X, Y, Z. No, pray for your enemies. Love your enemies. And in fact, those are the people it's hardest to love. 
and you don't understand, you claim to be a preacher and you don't even understand the concept of prayer and of forgiveness. I know you and Carter and I, we disagree on forgiveness, but this man claims to be a Christian and a preacher right. at that. And he right. doesn't believe in forgiveness or prayer for your enemies. And you know what I said to him was like, I think you are committing a great evil. I think you are sowing evil and, and racism in the hearts of men. And, and you're, it, it's an even greater sin because you're doing it from the pulpit and you're trying to cloak it in the word of God, which is taking the Lord's name in vain. You're committing a great evil. And yet I pray for you because I have to. You're, I think the Bible commands you to pray for the people you hate until you learn to love them. And I hate you. So, yes, I pray for you. <laughs> <laughs> at least you hate someone, that? Carrie. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, look, I'm I mean, <laughs> I, I Ragamuffin in chat was saying, don't confuse Christianity with Catholicism. Just to be clear, I grew up Christian. I did not consider Catholics Christian. However, now that I'm an atheist, that's an internal battle. To atheists, you're all Christian. You all worship Christ. You all have the Bible. This is an internal argument about who's Christian and who's not. I'm not going to judge who's Christian. They're claiming Christianity. Catholics claim to be Christian. Um, I get the argument, the Protestant argument, that they're not. I totally get it. Um, but uh, I don't know. I'm still angry about the Pope. I'm sorry. 